Okay, making this video with regards to managers in general. Obviously, Rangers are looking for a new manager. I would never have appointed um, Pedro Cassini. Never in a million years, right? I'll tell you why. There's a lot of reasons, okay? But uh, Rangers need a specific type of manager, and I think to be a successful manager like Alex Ferguson, Sir Alex Ferguson, you got to have certain uh, character traits, you got to be a specific type of person. So, uh, one of my relatives were good friends with Bill Struth, and uh, here's his picture up in the Ibrox Trophy room. Now, Bill Struth wouldn't tolerate um, any misbehavior, you know, if you're wearing the wrong thing. Let's say, you know, you, you just wear the wrong thing, you, you can get um, disciplined, you know, a, a week's wages off or something like that. If you're late, um, weeks, two weeks wages um, off, he's a strict disciplinarian, Bill Struth. One of the most, in fact, the most successful Rangers manager of all time. 18 league titles, 10 Scottish Cups, 2 League Cups. I mean, that's incredible. Along the same lines as Bill Struth was Dick Advocate, who for me um, left Ibrooks too soon. He's got a very high win percentage there. Reasonably successful. I think Rangers were expecting more success in Europe at that time, and uh, so not really sure of the reasons why he had to move on. He eventually moved upstairs to be a sort of a general manager. I forget the name of it. I'm not particularly sure what that job would be. But uh, next came Alex McLeish. Now Alex McLeish, who had a fraction of Dick Advocate's uh, spending power, remember Dick Advocate bought Tory Andre Flo just before he left and it really put the, the club into a, a terrible financial uh, state, probably just, uh, I, would, I would have said, it would have just tipped the club over the wrong way financially. Alex McLeish came in with a shoestring budget, signed a lot of players on free transfers, and was arguably more successful than Dick Advocate. Um, one more year in charge, but you know, three League Cups as opposed to one, two Scottish Cups, two League titles. So I'd have to say, look at the win percentage, okay, but compared to the budget Alex McLeish got, I would have to say that um, Alex McLeish, certainly in the modern era, out of the, the last managers listed here, except of course for Walter Smith, who came in and did uh, very well in his second spell at Rangers. One of the only managers who've managed to come in for a second spell and do very well. So that puts him down as one of Rangers' best managers. But I would have to say Alex McLeish was very, very impressive. You know, the Helicopter Sunday, we well remember that. Very exciting and uh, really. Celtic had a, a good team at that time. You know, just like they had when uh, I think it was Walter Smith. You know, we remember uh, Van Hooydonk and all that at, at Ibrooks, the 4 3 game. Uh, they had a very good team at that time, and Walter Smith is a very special type of manager. I think good discipline, very respected by the players. Um, just like most Scottish managers, they, they focus on the physical aspects like fitness, strength, and that's a good thing. Dick Avica was clearly a more technical type of manager. So what you're looking for is a sort of mix <laughs> between these three or four, look at that, four of the most successful Rangers managers there. Graham Souness coming in, and he was of course a very very high standard of, of training that he brought to Ibrox, um, extremely high. And already probably out of that era, you'd have to argue Jock Wallace was a, was a great manager. Um, 
William Waddle was the one who, who was managing Rangers when they won the Cup Winners' Cup. Um, who himself is a fantastic player, but it doesn't mean to say that you're going to be a brilliant manager. We all love Ali McCoy, but um, look at that one percentage. I think that's the best <laughs> out of all the Rangers managers, but obviously Rangers were in the lower tier. And you, you can't really judge Alan McCoy for um, good or bad for his time at Ibrox there because there's a lot going on in the boardroom. So, you know, Alan McCoy could come back and be be a great manager again um, with another club or who knows. I don't, I don't think he'll be Rangers manager again, but he could come back to another club and do, do very well. But um, you just look at the, that group of managers there, they're all very strict, high disciplinarians, Dick Avaka brought a lot of technical knowledge in to the game, loved the, the short passing game, um, and so Alex McLeish, you could, the one criticism I had, he, he probably, um, you know, had Chris Boyd on the bench, when I think Rangers just needed to get a draw for a member to qualify for the, for the second tier of the Champions League and I thought leaving Chris Boyd in the bench I wasn't sure about that decision but I know that um, you know Alex McLeish I would say his strength is man to man management I think he's very very good man to man management um, wins respect in the dressing room Good technique, I would say. Dick Advocate, technical, disciplinarian. Walter Smith, maybe not that strong on um, tactics, but a very good eye for players' talent. Brilliant motivation and so on. You know, uh, very strict, like Jock Wallace in the dressing room. Um, I think one time pinned Paul Gascoigne to the wall at half time, <laughs> which apparently. Uh, Jock Wallace was quite known for that that physical <laughs> physical man management you could say but uh, as in well, it's a fear factor you know that he, he's called the boss certain managers you can only call you know the boss you, you know who's in charge um, you know obviously you got to have that to have a successful club um, to keep everybody in line you got to have that and um, the players have got to know who's the boss uh, obviously the players Pedro Casina, nobody knew that he was the boss uh, Mark Warburton is doing very well at the moment actually um, he's got like a, quite a high percentage winning right there so you'd have to say if I, if I was the, the Rangers executive at the moment I would leave Mark, Mark Warburton in charge and I would take a good 6 months to get the, the, the right man for Rangers I wouldn't I wouldn't just go and sign anybody, bring anybody in, any of these um, people in that have, they may have had a bit of a success coaching, you know, there's different methods abroad, but, but really, uh, you just need a certain type of manager at Rangers, and you can't just go after Steve McLaren's and all these people, they're going to, yes, they're, they might be good coaches, but they're not, you know, not proven managers, are they? Sorry, I just realised there that, uh, it's Graham Murray who's in charge and he's been doing well and I think Mark Warburton actually did really well um, brought them into the Premier League and um, you know I, I w I'm not sure if I would have let him go or sacked him I'm, I'm not I'm not certain I would have done that but maybe he just took the club as far as it could go you could argue that but this guy the only thing you could argue is that he's brought in a few players but you know is, is that the direction the next managers want to take the club you know it's going to be a, a real key question for, for the next guy coming in so here's a list of Premier League managers and their win percentages here um, so you'd have to say um, with decent clubs anyone over about 25 20, around about 25% is a, is a decent manager you know, uh, within the sort of strength of the clubs in the in the Premier League, you have to look at some of them. Okay, Alan Pardew, thirty six percent. That's a very good um, percentage there. 
uh, Charlton and West Ham uh, Corbusley very good you'd have to say just look at some of those um, Wenger of course is, I think is one of the longest the longest serving manager in the Premier League um, Avram Grant did well but they're big clubs you know at Portsmouth uh, who else there's Billy Bonds West Ham United it's pretty good oh Brendan Rodgers wonder where wonder <laughs> wonder where he is no nah, nah, I'll just forget him Bruce Rear oh, that's going back a few years um, uh, Brian Little uh, some foreign managers have done well obviously uh, quite a lot of good managers at Tottenham Tottenham are quite a, a reasonably big club but I think they've got um, some good managers they've done reasonably well for the size of the club uh, David Moyes you'd have to say mm, you'd have to say he's, he's a possibility but I uh, I'm not sure if I'd bring him in. You know, he, he might be one of the the ones on the list. David Moyes, Alex McLeish. You really have to look at. Um, I think McLeish is up for the job. Uh, I think he's a very good manager, but you know, there's Moyes a possibility. But you know, he's at Manchester United, so you'd really expect him to to be winning a lot more games than he did, obviously. Yeah, Gus, I think 85 percent get him in. <laughs> no, he's 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 probably re he's retired now. <laughs> uh, who else? I'll just go down the list. If I if I was if I was uh, bringing the next manager, and I'd be looking at all these guys, looking at their credentials. Well, it's Kenny Dalglish. Very big clubs used to be managed though. I, I think Kenny Dalglish is a great football coach. Um. I think he did okay as a manager. He, I don't think he likes being a manager. That's the only thing. He, does, he doesn't enjoy it that much. I don't think. But he certainly knows about football. Um, Roy Evans. Oh, yeah, 65%. Very good. Um. Yeah, I mean Tim Sherwood there, uh, done done pretty good. Um, get Ryan Giggs at, um, he's just starting in management, of course. Benitez, you know, all these guys would probably be looking for millions, you know, coming to Rangers. So you'd really have to get somebody that's. Um, that wants to be the Rangers manager. I think is it the, the Belgian manager was interested as well. So I'd, I'd look at these guys. I'd look at their age as well. You know, you want to bring them in for at least ten years. Someday, somebody that knows what they're doing. Bring them in for a good uh, five, ten years anyway. You know, that's that's what I'd be looking at doing. Anyway, that's my wild card. You know, just going through that list. That's just my wild card. But I would say. Uh, well, he's about ten years um, younger than Alex McLeish, but you know he's quite a young manager there. He's he's, he's done reasonably well. Um, you just have to look at Alex McLeish. He's a Scottish manager at the moment. He's not managing a club. Um, I'm not sure if obviously Gordon Strachan. He's already managed Scotland and Celtic, so. Um, you know, obviously you can't just it'd be, it'd be a surprise if Gordon Strachan came into Rangers but uh, I, I've actually met Gordon Strachan before, I think he's very intelligent I think he's very astute as well he is a good manager um, but I think this could be the man I would choose, I would be Alex McLeish for me what do you think guys? <laughs>